To be a Cooper Studio photographer, you first of all need to be an excellent photographer. And we do have the luxury of having the pick of the best talent who is around. But it's actually not nearly enough just to be a good photographer. You also need to have really, really good people skills. And that's because to get the best out of our customers, they need to feel really comfortable with the photographer that they've got. They need to be able to relate to that person and work with them and feel comfortable enough to come out of their shells. We've won over 20 awards and 15 of those have actually come from the Australian Professional Photography Awards, which is the premier photography competition in Australia. It's where the professionals come out to play with their best photos for the year. Each photographer is only allowed to enter four photos and from that awards are given for the very best ones. We've actually won 15. A Master of Photography is actually an honour that's granted by the Australian Institute of Professional Photographers. It's very difficult to attain. You need to attain a great deal of success at the Australian Professional Photography Awards and I think it's something that most photographers aspire to. I'm fortunate enough that I did become a Master of Photography in 2007. For me it was actually a little bit unexpected. Essentially my ribbon, my award simply arrived in the mail without me expecting it. But that said, I am very chuffed that I am a Master of Photography. It's, it's always nice to get recognition from the industry you're part of. Well, you can't really force someone to smile for the camera, so I guess the answer there really is you can't. The only way you can make someone smile is to make them happy, really. A smile has to be genuine. You can't fake it because human beings are minutely tuned to facial expression. And a fake smile simply looks like a fake smile. You don't have to come in with your smiling face on to be photographed at Cooper's studio. If we want you to smile, we simply have to make you happy. And that's how we do it. Ultimately, people inspire me. I think I've been photographing people for my whole career, which is now sort of around about 15 years. And I've been a proper professional photographer for 12 of those and here in uh, Cooper Studio in South Fremantle for the last five. I've photographed thousands of people and they continue to delight and surprise me. This is what keeps me going. And I think it's true for our other photographers as well, that, uh, because we all love photographing people. What photographing people is about is starting with an idea but actually letting that idea morph and change depending on the person you photograph. You can't just take photos of somebody and expect it to follow a formula because every human being is different. It's a collaboration, it's what happens when you're working with someone and you create something that might be better than what both of you were expecting at the beginning and that's what inspires me. I think I have to actually approach this question from two different angles. Photography is a fantastic hobby and if I wasn't doing it professionally I'd still be doing it. And what I'd probably say to, the, to just about everybody is it's not about the gear, it's not about the camera you use. You can take a fantastic photo with an iPhone or a box brownie. The important thing is to have a really, really good idea and just get out and do it and have fun. It's a wonderful way to spend some time. To the other side of that though is that to be a professional photographer is a completely different thing. To be a professional you need really, really good technical know-how and that generally involves in-house training and probably also some form of tertiary qualifications as well. There's quite a bit that goes into photography at a professional level that people don't realise, like math for example. Also you need the support of a really, really good team. You do need the best equipment because it's uncompromising and you need a real passion to live and breathe what you do because it does get tough at times and you have to carry on regardless.